Welcome to my channel. This is Jewel Isabel. Jewel Isabel, welcome back. Um, I know that I've been gone a very long, long time, but I have a good reason, like a really good reason. I got super busy. I wanted to show you all, I'm very excited, um, my new haircut. So, you all, if you've looked at my previous videos, like you have seen my hair, I mean, basically you have seen my hair to the point where it looked like I just got out of bed and shagged it and just did a video. I mean, because that is, you know, the type of comfortable look I had prior. But all of a sudden, I don't know what changed. Um, this past weekend, uh, we were, my husband and I were invited to an anniversary party. We went to an anniversary party. Um, and I try. I bought this new dress. Matter of fact, let me show you guys. Hold on. Okay, so here's the dress here. It has some like shimmer capabilities in the front. Little drag down drop right here. Um, and then it is oh, just like a little skirt. It's like a dress. It's connected though. Um, a lot of people didn't think it was connected, but it is. But it is so so pretty. And I got it from J.C. Penney's. I forgot, I think I paid maybe $55 or $60 for it, but it was so pretty on me. I mean, can you imagine me in this thing here? But anyway, so I bought this dress and here's the story. Basically, I do not, I shy away from showing, I'm small up here. So I'm going to give you guys a peep up here. And some of my videos, you probably have gotten a peep of my, um, of my bottom area, but I really don't show it. So here's the, here's a peep of my like upper area. I'm kind of like small and kind of like thin a little bit here. And then when you get to the bottom of me, I have a big fanny. Okay, I'm trying to lose it. I don't like my fanny much. Um, let me adjust this. Good. Here we go. I am like totally opposite of what the world is. Everybody loves and is talking about having a big butt. I am like totally against it. Don't understand why y'all want one, okay? Um, because it's a hassle to me. So, okay, so back to what I was saying. I was interrupted. Um, basically, yeah, so I go against what the world wants. They want, women want these big butts, these big hips I have that and I don't like it so I temp, tend to um, wear like when I go to work I wear like flaring skirts or long skirts and long shirts that kind of tail or drape over my behind or I'll wear um, like I have this green fuzzy sweater that I wear and it is just the best I have fallen in love with this sweater and it is so ugly by now but I still love it because it hides I'm comfortable with it on and I've been doing this for years. Like, I've been doing this whole process for years. Now, even when it comes to jeans in the summertime, I don't I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm just not comfortable with that. I don't like the attention. I'm sure the women do it. They want it because they, they want more attention. They want to feel like you don't want the attention. I don't like the attention. It's, it's constant looks that I don't pay attention to, but my kids pay attention to and my husband noticed that I try not to notice and I really don't. It's to the point where I don't pay attention now. And I don't like the attention all the time because it's just, um, I don't know, I just don't. So I can't even explain why I don't like it, but I just don't. I'm married and been there, done that, I guess. And so I'm really content with, like I really, <laughs> so anyway, this dress. So I wore this dress because it was supposed to be like a red carpet thing. And I think we were kind of a tad bit overdressed. But we had a few people who were dressed with us. But anyway, so I got this dress and it's a hip hugger. Like it's definitely tight on me. And I got it and I put it on. And when I tell you, I felt like a, I don't know, I, don't, I felt like risky in this dress risky in the way that like I had to throw all of my beliefs and principles about what I didn't like about my behind and hips out the door I just had to because I wanted to look nice and it was select it was just only a selected few dresses that I could get because most of them were like ugly or they were so I had to get this it's kind of like I had to get this dress so I got the dress and I fell in love with the dress and I became so comfortable in my own skin. So I just like accepted 
all of a sudden, I guess it was a light bulb moment I had. And so from there, uh, I don't know. I came home and I don't know what happened, but that, like the next day or so, I mentioned it to my husband about getting my hair cut. And he doesn't like, you know, my husband likes me with my hair long or whatever. So he really was not feeling that. But he didn't, did not, you know, he didn't fight it too bad. Um, I need to bump the back a little bit, but he didn't fight it too bad. So let me let this up. He didn't fight it too bad. So. I was like, ooh, here's my opportunity to make a change, you know. And some of you all are saying, well, why she had to get his permission? You really didn't have to. That's how you do your man. I like to get permission from my man when all possible because it's just thing on. This thing isn't even on. Uh, yeah, because he, he has to look at me every day, just like I got to look at him. So I want him, before he do anything traumatic, to come to me and ask me for my permission. But anyway, um, so yeah, I got his permission in a way. Um, and then I just kind of went online and found something. But I love this cut on me. I think it takes years off my age. It fits my round face. That My face has become round rounder since I've become older, since I've had children and so forth. I had a more chiseled face where you can see my jawbone, like really right there, my jawline really, really good. It was defiant in my face structure. I have these high cheekbones here, but it was really structured. And now it's just like it's a little round. You can see them right here. They peep up a little bit there, but I felt like the cut, this particular cut, and you probably can't tell what it is because I have it curled some kind of way, but it's like a mini bob. It's like a short kind of bob. And I didn't go, I wanted to go pixie, but I didn't think so. Um, and uh, I didn't do it because I feel like I'm, I need to, to chisel my face a little bit more. And the only way it's going to get chiseled is if I lose weight. So if I happen to lose weight, then you'll see me with that pixie cut. But you may see me with it. Um, but yeah, so I want to fill you guys in about how I got this new little cut. And I, it's it's not like shaved in the back. It has some little hair here to the back of it. And I just need to bump this little piece. It kind of like shags down here. It's really cute and um, it's convenient. And last night I curled the top of my hair in this part here. And I should have hit this here, but it's shorter. Um, with the little um, part rollers. They're not flexi rods. They're um, I know you all know the name of these rollers, but anyway. So I, I went ahead and, and curled them with this. I put them, and I had them facing forward so I can kind of comb it. Like, this is the end of my day. So my curls have kind of fallen out and a little bit, and they have kind of, uh, they've kind of did their own thing today. But um, that's what I used last night and kind of got up and just fingered the curls forward a little bit and put, um, and just kind of left it like that. Um, but I'm really like this is my first day wearing the hairstyle and I love it. I mean my confidence level oh, It's like at a Well, it was like a nine before okay, but now it's like almost at a ten It's a nine and a half ten right now just because it is cut who knew so I'm loving it I don't think I'm gonna let my hair grow out anytime soon and I just want to let my Jewel Isabel fans out there know what's going on with me. I'm so sorry that I haven't did a video in so, so long. Um, life kind of just took it over. I'm studying for my education exam and I have really been busy. Remember, I graduated from college. I'm studying for my um, educational exam and it's just with the family and all that, I've really been kind of like lazy paisy on it. But what I'm gonna do now, you all should be expecting more videos from me. I'm back in tune a little bit more. And um, I just want to catch you all up with what's going on with you. So I will see you guys next time. Um, feel free to leave comments below.